this is a kind of connecting rod master rod for radial engine so let's check note all dimensions are in millimeter material bra brass finish now let's check top view now we will start with top view now you will see the length center dis center to center distance 250 mm now there is a two circular sketch 5263 inch uh, mm and you will see in section view the height of this 72 mm okay then there is a many curves and circles four number of r13 four holes 10 dm and all are 72 these curves are 72 mm you will see here also mentioned five number of curves these are the distance 40 15 17 and it will goes here and there is a one tapered straight line taper line this end distance 26 and this taper line going to met at this circular face and the distance here you will see 18 mm these circular dimensions 34 and 30 are uh, 24 and 35 mm so let's make this this one we will extrude 72 then the rest of this we will extrude 42 you will see here in cut out 7287 is going to be 42 and this is also going to be 42 and later we will cut this all so let's do this first now activate top plane sketch now i am going to activate circle and draw here let's say four circle press escape key to out activate center line and connect it this is going to work as a center line okay let's define this first 250 the outer one 35 and the inner one 24 mm okay that's fine let's this 63 outside inner one going to be 52 mm now activate circle and here we will define some small circles uh, due to many circle we will use circle tool to create our geometry okay now select these two hold shift key and select these two and equal smart dimension now these dimension shows radius r13 so 13 into 2 diameter going to be 26 okay now let me assign some distance now you will see distance from this point set origin point 15 and second one goes to be cancel second distance from circle origin point 40 okay now these vertical distance select these two points and this vertical distance 17 mm now see this is in perfect position now activate mirror entity select these two circles make sure you selected copy mirror about select this line say okay now see now activate here three point arc now it's time to create circle arc select this point and this arc and make sure radius goes inside so that we will similarly we will apply in every places even though i am going to apply some somewhere like here escape key to out now Okay let's finish this first hold shift key select this arc tangent similarly apply for all all edges you have to apply one by one to all edges press and hold shift key select both the 
सर्कल एंड आर्क एंड लीव्स शिफ्ट की एंड यू विल सी दिस पॉप अप नॉट इक्वल डिलीट टेंजेंट स्मार्ट डायमेंशन नाउ लेट्स डिफाइन सेवेंटी टू यू हैव टू डिफाइन ऑल वन बाय वन जस्ट फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन ओके हियर इज स्टिल नॉट टेंजेंट होल्ड शिफ्ट की सिलेक्ट दिस आर्क एंड सर्कल टेंजेंट ओके दैट्स फाइन नाउ एक्टिवेट लाइन कनेक्ट इफ यू कॉन्ट फाइन proper so activate from something like here similarly escape key select this point tangent okay now select this and this tangent now select this point and this one coincide okay now mirror entity and i am going to mirror this clear select these two mirror about this line make sure you selected copy okay smart dimension first define this center distance and this is 26 okay now change the position so that Eighteen. That's perfect. Now let's define this seventy-two. Now see, drawing is fully defined. If you want to trim this, go to trim entities, power trim. Just press and hold left mouse and drag over the line. See, it's trimmed. Now we have three closed geometry. That's fine. Okay. extrude the first one move your cursor and select this one start condition same end condition keep mid plane and this is going to be 72 mm long okay now again select the same sketch then click extruded boss base this time i am going to select this one don't select this one 42 mm mid plane keep result merge okay again select the same sketch extruded boss base this time in selected contour move cursor and select this one same 42 but uncheck this merge result why because i want to trim this upper portion so that time we need this feature so make sure you selected merge result un unbox the merge result now here you will see two body One two, okay. Now you will see there is a gap, twenty eight millimeter gap. So this is the cutout, and you will see there is a line. See, these are the tangent line to this, and this is going to be cut inside. See, now select the same top plane sketch. Now select this face. Convert entity. select this outer edge outer circle convert entity activate here three point arc now from this line to this circle in both side escape key to out now select this line and this arc tangent similarly for this tangent even select this circle and this arc tangent similarly circle an arc tangent now see this is fully defined sketch we don't need to define anything if you want to trim this even you can activate trim entity trim this okay let's undo because there is a relation with this line so let's keep as it is it is doesn't going to bother extruded cut feature now move cursor and select this now you will see similarly keep end condition mid plane and according to drawing it's 
28 millimeter. We selected here. Okay. See. Now activate hole wizard. Simply choose hole, metric, standard metric, drill size, and 10 millimeter. Even select show and put dimension. Keep through all. Position, select this face and move cursor over the edge and you will see uh, center point. See? This is the location. Move cursor over the edge and you will see center point. So place or press escape key to out. Now you will see the preview. Okay. Look. Now there is a one cutout. This cutout. 87 millimeter. Then this is going to be down. Angle 2. And here you will see 18 millimeter. See? So this is important. Front plane, sketch, section view. This is important. Okay. Select the line and something here go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc connect with this okay now first I am going to okay let me define one more center line because we are going to define angle now these angle with this going to be 2 degree 78 millimeter the radius and these end point with this 18 divided by 2 it's 9 millimeter and this distance from this point 87 millimeter Press escape key to out and let's check what else distance or something balance. Okay. Now this point distance is 9. So we need to first make this define under def defined. So we have to do some more drag this line up to this center point. Something click here now select this line and this line make relation collinear this is important relation now select this one and delete now let's define any distance okay here it seems still some due to this point it is still not defined so give some distance now it's fully defined. See? Ex now this time we are going to choose extruded cut. Keep through all both. Now here why we kept this one unmerge. Here choose selected body. Now here you have to select which body going to effect. So select this body. Look. This is going to, it shows, it is going to cut this, but it is not. Say okay. And look. It is cut only this body, not this body. That's why we make this all things. Choose top plane because this is at mid. Mirror. Go to feature and here you have to choose drop down, extruded cut. And you will see the preview say yes and look here we go 
see this is very critical cut we did now there is a radius 35 mm and there is one more cut out you will see this oblong 150 30 mm from here r6 now look this center distance 5 mm so we will keep depth half 2.5 in one side 2.5 in another side okay so comes to top top plane activate here center point is straight center uh, straight slot simply press escape key to out now activate 150 6 millimeter okay now just drag this inside a smart dimension now select center distance going to be 30 millimeter okay check normal section view not section view extruded cut okay we will do one at a time so reverse through all one side offset 2.5 millimeter look you will see the preview it's going to cut 2.5 millimeter from the top plane it start going to 2.5 millimeter rest we will keep as it is auto selected look we will see in section view let me mirror plane drop down and choose top feature already selected yes now select front section view okay now look evaluate measure now select these two faces see distance okay look this is the center distance 5 millimeter now here 35 millimeter if i am going to choose fill it see it is going to apply on this body not in between this body why because this is separate body so go to direct editing or search here in command manager combine operation type add select these two body even you can see preview okay now apply fillet constant size fillet here symmetric 35 radius now let me choose this board the corner and see it's going to apply A real view fin appearance i am going to apply brass metal brass brush I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.